Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about some pumps. These are the points we are going to discuss in today's video. What is a sump pump? Key components of a sump pump, how a sump pump works, importance of sump pumps, types of sump pumps, how to do the maintenance of sump pumps. Lastly, we will discuss some troubleshooting scenarios. Let's start with the first module. What is a sump pump? A sump pump is a mechanical device designed to manage excess water accumulation in basements, crawl spaces, or other areas prone to flooding. It serves as a crucial component of a building's water management system, helping to prevent water damage and protect the structural integrity of the property. Next, key components of a sump pump. Sump pit. The sump pit is a small, typically cylindrical or rectangular, Reservoir located in the lowest point of a basement or crawl space. Its purpose is to collect and hold water that may seep in due to rain, groundwater, or other sources. Next is pump. The heart of the sump pump system is the pump itself. This electrically powered device is positioned within or just above the sump pit. When water in the pit reaches a certain level, the pump activates to remove the water. The next important component is the float switch. The float switch is a critical component that triggers the sump pump's operation. It is attached to the pump or suspended in the sump pit. As the water level rises, the float switch rises with it. When it reaches a predetermined height, it activates the pump. Conversely, as the water level drops, the float switch lowers and deactivates the pump. Next is the discharge pipe. Once the sump pump is activated, it pumps the collected water out of the sump pit through a discharge pipe. This pipe usually leads the water away from the building to a safe location, such as a storm drain or a designated drainage area. Next is check valve. A check valve is installed in the discharge pipe connected to the sump pump. Its purpose is to prevent water from flowing back into the sump pit once it has been pumped out. This helps maintain the pump's efficiency and prevents unnecessary cycling. Moving to the next component. Alarm. An alarm system serves as a warning mechanism to alert homeowners when there's a potential issue with the sump pump or if the water level in the sump pit rises to a critical level. Next is sump pump cover. A cover or lid can be added to the sump pit to prevent debris from falling into it, which can clog the pump or affect its operation. It also helps reduce odors and moisture in the basement. Next is backup system. In areas prone to power outages or situations where the primary sump pump might fail, a backup sump pump system can be installed. Backup systems can be powered by a battery, water pressure, or a generator to ensure the sump pump functions even when the main power source is unavailable. Next component is control panel. A sump pump control panel is a device used to monitor and manage the operation of a sump pump and related components. Some key aspects of a sump pump control panel are Pump activation and deactivation. Float switches. Variable speed control. Alarm and notification systems. Backup pump control. User interface. Now we will see how a sump pump works. Water collection. As water enters the basement or crawl space, it flows into the sump pit due to gravity. The sump pit acts as a reservoir to hold this incoming water. Float switch activation. When the water level in the sump pit rises to a certain point, it lifts the float switch. This triggers the sump pump to turn on. Water removal. The sump pump's motor powers an impeller, which rapidly spins and creates a low-pressure zone. This low pressure draws water into the pump and then forcefully pushes it out through the discharge pipe. Discharge. The pumped water is expelled through the discharge pipe to a location where it won't cause damage to the building. Next. Importance of sump pumps. Sump pumps are vital for several reasons. Flood prevention. They help prevent flooding in basements and lower levels of homes and buildings, which can cause extensive damage to belongings and the structure itself. Mold and mildew prevention. By removing excess moisture, sump pumps deter the growth of mold and mildew, which can be harmful to health and property. Property protection. Some pumps safeguard valuable possessions stored in basements and prevent costly water-related repairs. Foundation Preservation 
They protect the structural integrity of a building by preventing water from infiltrating the foundation, which can lead to cracks and instability. Next, types of sump pumps. The first type is submersible sump pumps. Submersible sump pumps are designed to be submerged entirely in the sump pit. They are placed directly within the pit. Advantages Submersible pumps are more discreet as they are hidden within the pit, making them less obtrusive in the basement. They tend to be quieter during operation compared to pedestal pumps. These pumps are better suited for sump pits with larger diameters or those that collect a significant volume of water. Maintenance Maintenance of submersible sump pumps may be slightly more involved as they require removal from the pit for servicing. The second type of sump pump is pedestal sump pumps. Placement On pedestal sump pumps, the pump is on the bottom and sits in the sump pit, but the motor is mounted on the pedestal or column that rises up out of the pit. Advantages They are easier to access for maintenance and repairs since the pump is located above the pit. Pedestal pumps tend to have a longer lifespan as the motor is not exposed to water. Disadvantages They can be noisier during operation compared to submersible pumps. Pedestal pumps are better suited for smaller sump pits with limited space. Maintenance Pedestal sump pumps are easier to maintain due to their accessibility. However, they may require more frequent maintenance. The third type of sump pump is battery backup sump pumps. Purpose Battery backup sump pumps are not a distinct type but rather an additional feature. They can be added to submersible or pedestal pumps to provide backup power in case of electrical outages. Advantages Ensure continuous pump operation during power failures, which is crucial for homes in areas with frequent storms. Battery type Battery backup sump pumps typically use deep cycle batteries designed to provide sustained power over extended periods. Maintenance Regular maintenance of the backup battery is essential to ensure it's ready when needed. The last type of sump pump is water-powered sump pumps. Operation Water-powered sump pumps operate using water pressure from your home's municipal water supply. They do not rely on electricity or batteries. Advantages They are highly reliable during power outages since they don't rely on electrical power. Minimal maintenance is required as there are no electrical components. Considerations These pumps can increase water usage, which may lead to higher water bills. Please note that each type of sump pump has its advantages and considerations. The choice of which one to install depends on factors such as The size of the sump pit Budget Noise tolerance The reliability of the electrical supply in your area Now we will see how to do the maintenance of the sump pumps. Before that, we will see the tools and equipment required for the maintenance of the sump pump. Screwdriver set Flathead and Phillips screwdrivers for removing covers and accessing pump components. Adjustable wrench Useful for tightening or loosening pipe fittings and hose clamps. Pliers Slip joint pliers can help with tasks like tightening hose clamps or adjusting float switches. Bucket or container To collect and remove water from the sump pit especially if you need to work in a wet environment. Work Gloves Protective gloves to keep your hands clean and safe from potential contaminants in the sump pit. Safety Goggles To protect your eyes from splashes or debris during maintenance. Flashlight or Work Light Proper lighting is essential for inspecting and working on the sump pump, especially in dimly lit areas. Cleaning Brush or Scraper Used to clean debris, sediment, and build up from the sump pit's walls and components. Lubricant If your sump pump requires lubrication for its bearings or moving parts, have the appropriate lubricant on hand. Check the manufacturer's recommendations. Replacement parts Depending on your sump pump's age and condition, it may be wise to keep some spare parts on hand, such as gaskets, seals, float switches, or check walls. Battery Backup System Tools if your sump pump has a battery backup system, you might need tools for checking and maintaining the battery, such as a battery tester or battery terminal cleaner. Drainage hose or pipe If you need to replace or repair any parts of the drainage system, have spare hose or pipe sections available. Safety equipment 
personal protective equipment pp including gloves safety goggles and if necessary a respirator for protection against harmful gases owners manual the sump pumps owners manual can provide guidance on maintenance specific to your pumps make and model non contact voltage tester to check for the presence of electrical current and ensure the pump is safely disconnected before maintenance drain snake or cleaning brush if your sump pit has a drainage system that leads to a storm drain or other outlet you might need these tools to clear any clogs wet dry vacuum helpful for removing any remaining water in the sump pit after maintenance is complete first aid kit as a precaution have a basic first aid kit available in case of minor injuries sump pump maintenance while essential should be conducted with safety in mind Here are important safety measures to take while performing some pump maintenance. Turn off the power. Before you start any maintenance tasks, ensure the sump pump is disconnected from its power source. Unplug it from the electrical outlet or turn off the circuit breaker that supplies power to the pump. This prevents accidental electrical shock. Wear personal protective equipment (PPE). It's a good practice to wear appropriate personal protective equipment, including safety goggles and gloves. to protect your eyes and hands from any debris or waterborne contaminants in the sump pit ventilate the area sump pits can accumulate stagnant water and potentially harmful fumes make sure the area is well ventilated to prevent exposure to potentially hazardous gases such as radon opening windows or using a fan can help improve ventilation use proper lighting ensure the area around the sump pit is well lit so that you can see what you're doing clearly Use a portable work light or a flashlight if necessary. Secure the area. Keep the area around the sump pit clear of obstacles, tools, or clutter that could cause tripping hazards. Make sure you have a clear path to exit in case of an emergency. Stay dry. Do not perform maintenance while standing in water. If there is water in the sump pit, use a submersible pump or a bucket to remove it before starting maintenance. Wet conditions increase the risk of slipping and electrical hazards. Avoid the pump's moving parts. While the pump is connected to power or during testing, be cautious not to place your hands or any objects near the moving parts of the pump, including the impeller. Serious injuries can occur if you come into contact with these components. Use tools safely. If you need tools during maintenance, ensure they are in good condition and appropriate for the task. Use insulated tools when working around electrical components and handle them with care. Gas and carbon monoxide detectors. If your home uses natural gas or other combustible fuels, ensure you have working gas and carbon monoxide detectors in the vicinity of the sump pit to alert you to any potential leaks or hazards. Emergency preparedness. Have an emergency plan in place, including knowing the location of emergency shutoff valves, exit routes, and how to respond in case of any unforeseen accidents or hazards by following these safety measures you can minimize the risks associated with sump pump maintenance and ensure that your work is conducted safely and efficiently remember that if you are unsure about any aspect of the maintenance process it's best to seek seniors assistance regular maintenance of your sump pump is crucial to ensure it functions effectively when needed especially during heavy rain or potential flooding Proper maintenance can extend the life of your pump and prevent unexpected failures. Here are the key steps to sump pump maintenance. Visual inspection. Regularly inspect the sump pump and the sump pit for any visible issues. Look for signs of wear, damage, or rust on the pump and its components. Ensure the sump pit is free from debris, mud, or any obstructions that might hinder the pump's operation. Test the float switch. Pour water into the sump pit to trigger the float switch and activate the pump. This test ensures that the float switch is working correctly. Make sure the float switch moves freely without any obstructions that might prevent it from rising or falling as needed. Clean the sump pit. Periodically clean the sump pit to remove accumulated dirt, gravel, and debris. A clean pit allows the pump to operate efficiently. Check for any roots or blockages in the pit's drainage system that could impede water flow. Check the discharge pipe. Inspect the discharge pipe to ensure it's securely connected and free from clogs or obstructions. 
Verify that the discharge pipe directs water away from the building to a safe location. Lubrication If your sump pump has all ports, lubricate the pump's bearings according to the manufacturer's recommendations. This helps maintain smooth operation. Test the pump Regularly test the sump pump by pouring a bucket of water into the pit. Ensure that the pump activates, pumps the water out, and shuts off automatically when the water level decreases. Backup Power Source If your sump pump has a battery backup system, check the status of the backup battery. Replace the battery as needed or per the manufacturer's recommendations to ensure it's functional during power outages. Electrical Connections Inspect the power cord, plug, and outlet for any damage. Make sure the pump is properly grounded. Consider installing a ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, to enhance electrical safety. Check for unusual noises. Pay attention to any unusual sounds during the pump's operation, such as grinding or vibrating noises. These could be signs of mechanical problems that need attention. Troubleshooting Some pump doesn't turn on. Power outage Check if there's power to the outlet by plugging in another device. A tripped circuit breaker Reset the circuit breaker if tripped. A damaged power cord or plug. Inspect the power cord for damage and replace it if necessary. A faulty float switch. Test the float switch by manually lifting it. If the pump activates, the float switch may need adjustment or replacement. Some pump runs continuously. The float switch is stuck or not functioning correctly. Check the float switch for obstructions or debris and ensure it moves freely. Water is continually entering the sump pit. Investigate the source of continuous water entry. It might be due to heavy rainfall or a plumbing leak. The check valve is malfunctioning. Inspect the check valve for proper installation and replace if necessary. Unusual noises. Foreign objects or debris in the sump pit. Remove any debris or foreign objects from the sump pit. A malfunctioning impeller or motor. Inspect the impeller for obstructions and clean if necessary. Air in the pump causes cavitation. Check for air leaks in the pump's intake system and repair any leaks. Pump vibrates excessively. The pump is not securely fastened in the pit. An unlevel base. Ensure the pump is properly secured and leveled in the sump pit. A damaged or unbalanced impeller. Inspect the impeller for damage or imbalance and replace if necessary. Some pump doesn't remove water. A clogged intake screen or impeller. Disconnect the pump from power and clean the intake screen and impeller. A frozen or blocked discharge pipe. Inspect the discharge pipe for blockages or freezing and clear if needed. A burned out motor. Test the pump with a bucket of water to ensure it activates. If it doesn't, the motor may need replacement. Continuous cycling, short cycling. The float switch is set too high. Adjust the float switch to a lower level. Water is entering the pit at a slow rate. Investigate the source of slow water entry and consider using a smaller or adjustable pump. Insufficient pit size for the pump's capacity. If the sump pit is too small, consider enlarging it or using a smaller pump. Backup battery issues, battery backup models. Dead or depleted backup battery. Test the backup battery voltage and replace it if it's old or depleted. Faulty battery charger or inverter. Check the battery charger or inverter for proper operation. Battery connections are loose or corroded. Ensure that battery connections are clean and secure. Strong odors. Stagnant water in the sump pit. Regularly clean and maintain the sump pit to prevent stagnant water and debris buildup. Bacterial growth or debris accumulation. Consider adding a sump pit cover to reduce odors and prevent debris from entering. So friends, that's it for today's session. Hope you enjoyed today's session. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video.